Hey guys, I've got a new Phoebus watch to show you today. You know, Phoebus is one of those watch brands that just do their own thing, and more often than not, they bring something different to the table. This is exactly the case with their newest release, the Great Wall 2. It's a sports watch, essentially a diver, with some decent specs, design, and build quality, that also happens to be fairly affordable. Welcome to the Bolt Hair Spring, my name is Ivan and I would like to start this review by having a word about the price and where to get this watch from, in case you end up interested in owning one. This model will retail for 465 US dollars, which in my opinion is fair, considering that this watch features a Miyota 9015, a great build quality and a killer loom, just wait and see. However, if you go to the Phoebus website right now and use the pre-order discount code GW100, you'll save $100. As always, you can find the link in the description down below. Now let's have a quick look at the packaging and what's in it. If you have recently bought a Phoebus, then you won't be surprised at all as it's basically the same. A nice compact square box in which you'll find the usual paperwork and an extra leather strap which is of pretty good quality. I'll show you how it looks on the watch a bit later, but before that, let's have a word about the dimensions. When you first see this model in photos and videos, especially in photos, you get the impression that it's too big, but actually it isn't. The diameter of the case itself is only 40 mm, but then the bezel is a bit wider, as you can see it overhangs a bit. So, if you measure the watch from, let's say, here to here, it's 42 millimeters. Then the thickness of the case is 12 millimeters, but if we take the crystal into account, that number goes up to 14. Finally, the lug to lug distance is 47 millimeters, so you can expect this model to wear grades even on wrists smaller than mine. One thing I especially like about this watch is that it feels super solid and well built. I think many people will be surprised that on this rubber strap it weighs 121 grams. Personally speaking, guys, I enjoy wearing it as it simply looks and feels like a proper tool watch that can take any sort of beating. So, no matter which dial color you go for, you receive the watch on this rubber strap. It's a heavy duty one, the quality is excellent, it wraps around the wrist nicely, and it comes with this massive milled buckle that goes really, really well with the case. By the way, the leather strap also comes with it, and here you can finally see how it looks when paired with the watch. It's made of genuine leather, it's a bit stiff, so you'll need to give it some time to break in, but other than that, it's a very decent strap. And here it is on a cheap mesh bracelet that I bought from AliExpress, but to be honest, I don't like this look very much, it just looks a little bit weird to me. So for now, the rubber strap is definitely my favorite. It's comfortable, and I also find it very versatile. Moving on to the design, as the name suggests, this model takes inspiration from the Great Wall of China. You can see that inspiration reflected on the bezel and on the screw-down case back as well. I quite like what Phoebus has done here. The watch looks very rugged, and that's typically the design language that I like to see in a watch. On top of that, the overall execution is excellent. The whole case is fully brushed. There is just a little bit of high polishing on the bezel, and since we're at it, let's check the bezel action. It's a solid one, all 120 clicks sound very sharp, there is no back play, and the alignment is pretty much spot on. Alright guys, let's have a closer look at the dial now. It sits behind a very substantial piece of double domed sapphire crystal, which has been applied with some anti-reflective treatment on the underside. The dial itself looks quite simple at a first glance, but if you stare at it for a moment, you start seeing swords, shields and fangs, represented by the handset and the indices, and they are all surrounded by a white chapter ring. Then at 6 o'clock there is a color matching date wheel, while at 12 there is the Phoebus Octopus logo. Overall, I like this layout as it looks different, in a good way of course, and it's extremely legible in any kind of situation, even at night, as the loom is just amazing. 
Phoebus uses 15 layers of Superluminova BGW9 and as you can expect, it's plenty bright and long-lasting. As I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, the Phoebus Great Wall models feature Miyota 9015. It's a movement that I'm a very big fan of because it runs at 4 Hz, so you get 8 beats per second. In addition to that, it's a very reliable caliber and usually very accurate as well. Citizen claims the accuracy to be within minus 10 to plus 30 seconds per day, but that's like the worst case scenario. The movement in my review sample is running 6 seconds fast per day, with a beat error of only 0.4 milliseconds, and that's fantastic. I would also like to add here that since the crown of this Phoebus is 8mm in diameter, winding the watch and setting the time is extremely easy. To sum things up, I see this Phoebus as a great offering for the money, even more so if you take advantage of the early bird discount. The great build quality and the 300m water resistance, combined with the killer loom and the high beat Miyota movement, is definitely something to be considered if you are in the market for a new dive watch. I will send the black dial, but the other three more colorful variants look stunning as well, and all have matching colored date wheels and leather straps. I especially like the orange one, as it makes for a great summer watch. By the way, these are limited editions, and if I have understood correctly, there will be 800 of each color. Alternatively, you may want to have a look at the rest of their catalog. The Voyager GMT I reviewed a couple of months ago is my favorite red dial watch for the moment, and I absolutely love wearing it. These are currently selling with 15% off, which is cheaper than a Seiko 5 GMT, and they feature the same NH34 movement and the proper 24 click bidirectional fully loomed ceramic bezel. Finally, the Proteus model was recently released in bronze and it looks great in my opinion. So yeah, if you have never heard about Phoebus, definitely check them out. This is the end of today's video. Thank you very much for watching my reviews and for subscribing to the channel. Honestly, it means a lot to me and I appreciate it big time. Whatever suggestions or questions you may have, feel free to leave a comment or even better, DM me on Instagram and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Take care guys, I'll see you in the next one.